So the blood-brain barrier, much like the gut barrier, is made up of a series of endothelial cells that are, that are bound to each other and, and held together through tight junctions. Again, these proteins that are a group of proteins that are, that are um, holding the endothelial cells together. On the basement membrane side of the blood-brain barrier, we have a variety of different cell types sort of all interacting together, pericytes and microglio cells, which are the brain's resident immune cell, as well as astrocytes. And together, they're making up the blood-brain barrier. So LPS, again, originating from intestinal permeability, can actually uh, break down some of the tight junctions itself, and it binds directly to receptors present on microglio cells these are called toll-like receptors, um, toll-like 4 receptors, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in, in more detail in a moment. But when that happens, it actually shifts the microglial cells in the brain from a protective mode to an attack mode. And so they kind of you know, change their, their, um, their phenotype, and this sort of results in the, the, the um, astro, astrocytes moving away from the parasites and the basement membrane. And so you end up getting then an even further breakdown of the blood-brain barrier. It becomes more permeable. And this is sort of the beginning of this vicious cycle where then you, know, you sort of have a slow, sort of insidious, more permeability effect because more LPS and other inflammatory molecules and other things are getting into the brain. And then it's you know, changing the phenotype of our microglial cells, for example. And this sort of this vicious cycle of neuroinflammation. So why should we care about you know, blood-brain barrier breakdown? Well, the blood-brain barrier is key for brain aging. In fact, nearly 50% of all dementias, including Alzheimer's disease, begin with the breakdown of the smallest vessels in the brain. In fact, biomarkers of blood-brain barrier breakdown precede classical biomarkers of Alzheimer's disease like tau tangles and amyloid beta-42 aggregates.